Hello everyone. Um, today I want to talk about self-harming and suicide for one reason. I have been there myself and to this day when I post this I'll be two weeks clean from self-harming so I have no cuts because I was a self farmer, I, I used to cut, punch, slap, all that, pull my hair out, but I'm clean, so I, I'm thankful for that. I know self farming can be such a relief to people, but once you find the courage to get over it, well that's not the right word to say, once you find the courage to move on past needing it, you generally will feel better about yourself. You won't have to hide, you won't have to feel ashamed, you won't feel scared that people are going to find out and judge you. It's like, I was lucky. I had my partner and my family who supported me 100%. I went, I, about a month ago, uh, this is really hard for me to talk about. A month ago I tried to take my own life. I tried to overdose. And I ended up in hospital. But thankfully, I got sent to a team called the Crisis Team. For them I had talks, help, advice about how to cope. So I'm hoping to get some of the help out in this video to help you guys. So when it comes to wanting to self-harm, you need to look for distractions. So for me, it was photography, singing, art, taking a nap. Taking a nap's a really good one, especially if you don't work or you're young and not old enough to go to work or you're pre school college age then if you have nothing to do and you feel like self harming take a nap that's one of the one of my five that helped so my top one was singing photography taking a nap art or talking to someone it took me from the age of 13 to almost 20 to finally figure out how to stop and if it wasn't for talking to people, having finding people that are going to help you, it's hard. The longest I've ever been without self-harming is a month. And then I relapsed back into it, worse than I ever have. So. And then when it comes to wanting to take your own life, that's a hell of a lot harder to cope with. There isn't much stuff, stuff that can stop you from wanting to take your own life. No matter how low you are, or how low you think you are, there's always going to be someone there to talk to. Always. Even if you don't feel like it, even if it doesn't seem like it to you, there's always going to be someone who cares. So, even if you send me a message on YouTube just to chat, or if you find me on Facebook, I'm easy to find on Facebook. If you need someone to talk to about in more detail, I am more than willing to help people. I've had the help, I want to pass it on. So if you ever feel really, really low, put a message in my comments. Send me a YouTube message. I might not see the YouTube messages straight away. Or find me on the, uh, Facebook. Even if I put a link to my Facebook and you can just find me, message me. I won't, I won't add anyone on Facebook. I'll message you though. I just want to help people like I've been helped myself. And I hope I can at least help one person from this. Because all it takes is one person to save a life. So please find someone to talk to. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.